Looks like most of uh, William Gross, uh, Gross Venor's facilities. Everything's here, as well intact and in pristine condition. That's the kind of uh, harbor anyone could be proud of. Apparently, he's like private island, that seems. Sensing movements somewhere near us. I look up to see a drone hovering in the air. Okay, that's the one that we saw in the beginning. That's uh, how he found us. It's white with four rotors. The same model as Duke first used to contact me. Yep. The only difference is a cluster of smaller devices on uh, its underside. Okay. Warning icons flash into my retinas. Oh, is it armed? There are smaller drones rigged to explode. At this distance, we'd never be able to avoid them. Oh. Oh. They have like kamikaze drones attached to it. I even heat for my scans until this very moment. It must have been... It must have some jumping function that prevents it from being detected. My whole body stiffens. Yeah. In lieu of reply, there's an electronic uh, whine and the drove, uh, drone flies away. Suicide drones scared by a larger drone. Has unit even created something more distasteful? You can just imagine what would happen to anyone who tried to trespass on an uh, invade this island. They will be greeted by the welcome party of drones fluttering like bats in the twilight. Yep, very explosive bats. An incredibly eff effective security with none of the human costs. Heck, it might have been all the uh, I might be the only human on this entire island right now. I mean, there's still Willard. Oh? If you're still refusing to talk to me. Uh, still having doubts and thoughts if she really wants to go to Willard and become human in any means necessary. I wonder if she will realize that even without human body, she's still like getting closer and closer to human. She can be like an android like Delilah, but still be human, per se, you know? She can develop that way. She doesn't need, she doesn't require the like biological body for this. I wonder if she will go to this conclusion. Her lively, innocent nature has given way to something much more melancholy. She started to notice all the secrets and lies uh, surrounding her. A person doesn't become aware of that kind of stuff uh, and remain unchanged. Maybe this is her equivalent of teenage angst. She never refuses to do, as I say though. But maybe this unquestioning com uh, compliance is a form of rebellion in itself. Rebellion. I know what Philia expects from me. Unconditional protection. I think she built up this idea. I'd always be there for her. Yeah. We told her that our job will be over after we bring her to the Willard, the Duke. But now she knows that's not the case. I'm just a courier protecting her because it's a part of the job I took on. So what now? What does she want uh, me to do about it? The job is the whole reason I'm here to begin with. The Queen hasn't done anything wrong. No matter how people see our relationship, I'm not Philia's father. I should be figuring in her coming of age story at all. I'm just a man doing my job. See the job uh, through to the end, to my client's satisfaction. That's always uh, been my policy. I've never made an exception. Even if I refuse to hand Philia over, then what? Yeah, you... Sounds like the android that we saw in the... in the other base. Similar voice. Also, yeah, if we refuse at this point, like, that's what I, like, think, like, the... Now I'm more certain of it, like, I don't know if I can trust this whole story that Duke said about uh, the Lila being not developed and being damaged and stuff. I'm not sure if I believe this. Like, it was a believable story because she had a damage in her head and stuff. So she doesn't, doesn't remember. 
but still like they like we should know what do you want to do with the Lila on the ship in order to escape because from this island you have like these drones like you cannot escape this island really we have to comply to him or like we're just going to like be destroyed hmm very difficult situation we are prisoners here at this point oh wait he looks exactly the same as the guy from before are they like mass produce AI androids or something? It looks the same. With the same voice. An android standing beside me, uh, beside one of the harbor buildings, calls uh, call out to us. Groner Koshakke show you no android. Koan Kandi or Stomete or Imas. Let me say it again. Namai or Nainoka. Hi. Android to Oyobikasai. Okay. This one looks just like Gabriel, but seems even less human, yeah. His reactions are a little so, and something about him suggests he barely understands what he's saying or doing. He might not be an uh, AE at all, just a regular robot acting according to his programming. Okay. The android begins walking, we follow. But it's just a nearby building in silence. It's plain and un unadorned. But uh, we've slept in a lot of worse places. Yep. Okay, 30 minutes. Oh, we are going with like auto car that doesn't need like driver. Next day, we find ourselves in an unusually wear preserved road, riding in an equally rare electric car. I'm still not sure if Administrator is an AE Android or not, but I notice something that clinches the matter. No? Oh? His driving isn't perfect. Okay. So it's not like automatically driving, it just wasn't in the decision. <laughs> he veers too close to the edge of the road and scrapes the ground rail. Becomes unsure of what to do and slams on the brakes. Ah, interesting. So he is a android actually. It basically confirms that because if he would be a robot, he would be perfectly being able to drive. But he doesn't have any experience. He didn't learn how to drive properly. He probably drive sometimes, but never actually, you know, doing this often. So he doesn't have practice. Press drone forward. That brief shriek is the most I've had out of her day days. The other switches off the car power supply. He stretches out his arm as if reaching for something, but then just stops. He recognizes he has to do something, but again seems to process what? No human engineer would make a machine that's incompetent. Yeah. Okay, we just fix his problem. While he's fiddling with the instrument panel, I finally ask the question. Yeah. Okay. 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 I've seen this before. He's so dedicated to the task given to him, there's no room for anything else. He acts like a machine, not without any of the precision or efficiency. His skills are on pair with a normal human, yep. An AE android that hasn't been sufficient, sufficiently raised. Seems like most of them turn out like this. Yep, looks like it. I can, I can understand why Will, uh, Willem has been surprised by Philia's growth. Also, if like you have like these androids like under him, having them like administrators, right? Can he have one of them like being next to him and having with him like normal conversations and like in general interact with him and to try to develop it like by his own? Like what gives? Sure, like development from like interacting with like older people out of the world uh, in like other world 
right? Like outside of this secured island and stuff, will develop faster, probably, and like like more emotions. But still, you can probably develop in them into like being like decent like humans while you, like just having them like here on this island. Why can't he just like talk to them and just like make them human? He have like he have them here, so. Oh wow! That's a lot of guns. Hi, Shima no Bobi. Jesus. The greasy hills around the island are full of gun threats. Nani mo sotte kuru. Watashi no shiru kagiri. Nani ni mo sotare ta koto wa arimasen. Okay. Desu. I mean, good point. Kōshaku wa are o juyou da to minashite imasu. If you ask me, this goes beyond simple precautions. It's more like he's preparing for all-out war. Jesus. Got all those AI functions after him. What else can he do? This island should be safe at least. But I can still help feeling uneasy. Yeah. No reply. She doesn't even move. What the hell? What the そういう仕事熱心だな。もういいから。何を言ってるんだ。これはお前の願いでもあるだろ。やめる。あ？人間になるの。おい。冗談はよ。は？冗談じゃないよ。本心。バカ言え。ここまで来て。ここまで来たの
it will be easy, but I could probably convince her. I will just have to pretend to be her, to be father to her. Then I will give her to the Duke at leave. That's one of the most logical choice. It's also the least ethical, yeah. That means accepting Kyria's feeling for me and then betraying them right away. That just leaves me one last choice. I take my gown. No, that's not a choice. I take my gun out of its holster. And I point it directly to Kyria. Gee, no! Her eyes tremble we were welling up with tears. What the fuck? Uezakeru,俺の仕事を邪魔する気か? Oh, and the soundtrack. Oh, my God, you can do this to me. Oh, no, that's not the outcome I thought that I would see. Oh, no. What the fuck? I just... I, I cannot handle this. You can do this to me. She's trembling all over. She's clearly terrified. My breath is hot and dragged. I have to force the words out, like my body is trying to reject them. <sighs> you can't keep my body suddenly. You can't just do this to me. Is it you? Yeah. What? <sighs> What's happening? そんな簡単に情報をやるわけがないだろう。妨害させてもらった。柔道も一緒に泳ごうよ。俺の場合、装備が重すぎて水に。ほどこで泳いだらいいのに。柔道。よかったな。大きな全身だ。Just cannot hit me with you just betraying his own feelings and feelings of Philia and just like going to the square one while thinking of all the memories that, that they had together. You can't hit me with this. That's not fair. Memories of our time together come flooding back to me, but it's too late for regrets. Now things have reached this point, I have to stand by the choice I've made. And I heard trust in me. My feelings for her, everything I've been through together. Wipe the slight cream. And return our relationship to just courier in the package. I just can't want to do this. This is the only way. お望み通りぶち殺してやる。いや、ぶち壊してやるの正しいな。お前に命なんてものはないんだからな。あるよ。ある。何がある。高性能の知能回路か。悲しかったり嬉しかったりしてたよ。そういうプログラムか。違う。
に思わなかったけどだんだんといろんな気持ちになるようになってきたよシュードと一緒に旅をしてそんなふうに思うようになったんだよ Why is it so hot? シールかその旅をしたと日々もお前はこれからすべてご破産にするんだろうが俺は無駄に命をかけた上に仕事にもしくじるどれだけ高性能ならこんな悪趣味な笑い話が思いつける機械だから死の恐怖がないんだなだから殺していいなんて言うんだろそうじゃない怖くないわけじゃない私が言いたいのはお前の言いたいことなんぞどうだっていいお前はこれから死ぬし俺だってあの老人を敵に回してただじゃ済まなくなる違うよ違う<音楽>お前と旅などするんじゃなかった見<音楽>させたまま単なるものとして運んでくるんだったよ Don't say things like this. やめてシュードお前なんかに名前をつけてやるんじゃなかった Cry of Q the Spur. She holds her head like it's about to split open. She's crying. I cannot read this. Tears stream down her face. Her voice is Horace. I put my I put away my gun. Wait for her to calm down. <laughs> I was never actually going to shoot her anyway. The underdeveloped android in the driver's seat is just star staring straight ahead. He didn't react to the scene of encouncing one bit. That's what it means to have no will of your own. Contrary to everything I said, she has different. She has a mind, a soul. I know she was never trying to trick me. After a little while, Leah stops crying. I want to see this job through. I need to choose my next words very carefully. Whatever I say will redefine our relationship. I can create a new dynamic, free from all this emotional baggage. Something more like a courier under cargo. Something more like a courier under cargo. She looks up at me. Her eyes bloodshed from crying carry a strange emotion in them oh shit she that's like Delilah and then her eyes flash red it's the same as Delilah what the f Thanks for her own piece for pointed at me. I'm shocked. That was relieved in a way. My return on display warns me to move as uh, to move aside out of her line of fire. I ignore it and stay where I am. I want to see what she will do next. More than anything, I'm just curious. Will she shoot me? Can she shoot me? In that moment I don't really mind if she does or not. Eyes pierce for me in a way they never have been before. They feel of anger, sadness, despair. All that and more, all mixed together. Wow. Dude, fucking girl. Uh, she slides her ring finger down to release it. That's done. That, that, that down. She cocks the pistol and prepares to fire. <laughs> oh, where's the gun? What are these red eyes? Is this like last emotion that they learn? Like 
feeling of betrayal or something. This is like the feeling of hatred. What are these red eyes? It makes them... Like, violent. Julia... So didn't shoot. I cannot, god damn it. She cannot do it. The end, I didn't need to say anything. Julia calmed herself down, all on her own. Android. I just cannot. I just cannot hold an episode. Oh, what the? Oh. Just the cap against the move. Again, the turret on the hill next start to. Oh, shit. Wait, the red eyes are not only a threat to singularity machines, they are like overall triggering like all like machine based things like trying to attack the android? What are the red eyes? Okay, now everything on the island tries to kill us. What just happened? They swivel around and point right at us. I bought the moves without thinking. I dive into the backseat and clasp my arms around Philia. I shove the door open and we both roll outside. We hit the ground and roll into a low ditch of the outside. The explosion follows a second later. And then... The roof of the car pulls open like a balloon being popped. <laughs> 